Hi guys, welcome to Drinks Tube. My name's Cocktail Kate and I'm here today to make you an absolute classic gin cocktail. It's called the Clover Club. Now this drink has been around before Prohibition. It's got some lovely fresh flavours in there. We're working with some lovely tart ingredients, lots of lemon juice. But the main hook of this drink is this good stuff. Jam. That's right gang, we're jamming. Before I go any further, I'm going to chill my glass down. So we're going to get some ice. I'm just going to pop that in my cocktail glass. And then I'm just going to sit that to one side. While that's chilling, we're going to get to the good stuff. Okay, so to kick us off, we're going to use some lovely raspberry jam. Okay, now the original recipe calls for raspberry jam. But if you've got any other jam knocking around in the fridge, blackberry, strawberry, feel free to give that a whirl and see how the flavours taste there. But if you do, leave me a little note so I know what's going on. All right, team. So we've got two bar spoons of raspberry jam. I want to kind of encourage that to break down. So I'm going to squeeze 25 mils of lemon juice. All right, okay, that's in. Now we're going to give it a little stir. You can see the jam's nicely breaking up there. And that smells already incredible. Okay, so once you've got your balance in, so obviously you've got your sweet fruity jam and your sourness from your lemons. Now we're going to go for some dry vermouth. This is a French little guy, okay? Noir les pras, oui, oui. Something like that. And I'm just going to add 10 mils. That's going to lengthen the flavour. So, when I make a cocktail, I like my drinkers, my guests, to still be thinking about that drink hours later. By adding this vermouth, that's going to ensure those flavours travel and basically do that for you. Okay, next up is our gin. What we've gone for today is a lovely, aromatic, crisp, fresh gin. Okay, we've gone with Bombay Sapphire. Now this gin, ugh, has loads of fresh lemon peel in there. It's also got some lovely almond notes. And if you don't know, now you know. Almond and raspberry go really well together. Boom. Okay, so 50 mils of gin in there for you. So now we're gonna go and we're gonna throw in some texture to this drink. And for that, we're gonna use this guy. All right, we're gonna go for some egg white. There he is, okay, the star of the show, right? So we're gonna use some egg whites. Now all this does is add texture. This will ensure that the drink is really velvety and really foamy and lovely on the finish, okay? It adds no flavor to it. It's not gonna taste like scrambled eggs with raspberries, all right? It's gonna taste good. So we're gonna add this in. So now I'm gonna throw in some egg white. I'm just gonna give it a little mix, encourage that bonding to happen. Then I'm gonna add some ice. Okay. When you add an ice to your cocktail shaker, remember, always fill it right to the top. Less ice in there, the more watery your drink will be. Seal in, little kiss, Mwah. let's get the guns out time. So we're gonna set it free, just a little tap. Perfect. Then we're gonna strain this into there, and we're gonna do another shake, but this time, without ice, okay? So this is what we call a dry shake. Some bartenders will dry shake it before the ice. That's cool, okay? I'm gonna do it afterwards. And all it does, see this foam here? We're just gonna aim to try maybe even double that, okay? So by dry shaking it, you're emulsifying the drink a little bit more and ensuring that we get a nice velvety texture on the finish. So ice is gone, big shake. Put a little bit of life into it, let's go. Foamy. Okay, perfect. So, we're going to discard this ice, get that in there, give it a nice little rinse off there, and then we're going to double strain. All this does is keep any unwanted shards of ice away, and also kind of keeps those little bits from the conserve going in. Let's get rid of that. Look at that froth. So just to finish this off, if it couldn't be more desirable, it's about to be. Little top of a raspberry, and that's going to sit just lovely on there and all that foam. Let's have a go. Okay, smells really fresh. I'm getting loads of that raspberry through there. Let's have a little taste. Mmm. Yeah. That is one fresh little ditty right there. Okay, I'm getting loads of tartness from the raspberries. Some lovely, lovely, lovely crisp notes from that lemon. That gin has really tied those together and you can start to feel those little light bits of spices coming through right now. All about the vermouth at the end. All about the vermouth. Subscribe to Drinks Tube Gang. If you want to see me making even more gin cocktails, just click here and you'll see me make my absolute favourite gin cocktail ever. And it's called the South Side. Cheers, team.